Um, and just to add, Kevin, you please put your head up, man. You need to leave. You are a failed leader at this point, and you're dividing our city. Please just do the leadership thing and step away from the mic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Muchas gracias, señor Macquis. Thank you very much, Mr. Macquis. Aparte también, besides uh, also, le quiero decir al señor Kevin de León. I want to tell me, Mr. Kevin de León que me gustaría que renunciara por dignidad. That I would like for him to quit due to his dignity. Porque yo creo que no es vida para él el que le estén reclamando y reclamando y lo mejor es eso que renuncia por dignidad. I think that there's this is no life for him. Uh, for Gracias. them to be uh, claiming and claiming for him to go. I think it's better for his own dignity. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Comments that equate human beings to objects like handbags. Dehumanization of people should not be supported of this council. Therefore, I implore the council to remove Kevin De Leon and not to support the reappointment of Police Chief Moore. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Y también pido que Kevin De Leon lo saquen porque es una persona muy racista and que I no also, quiere a uno. Yo apoyo a todos los que quieren que, que Ke renuncie. And I also ask that you kicked out uh, Kevin De Leon because he's a racist. Porque queremos personas buenas, no queremos personas malas que nos pasen este discriminando. Because we want good persons. We don't want bad persons who are always discriminating against us. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I think it's shameful that we're here and that this city council that's supposed to be representing the people of Los Angeles has not acknowledged the theft of three lives. Their names are Takar Smith, their uh, Keenan Anderson and Oscar Leon who were killed by LAPD in the first three days of this year. If we're talking about care for the members of the community you're supposed to represent, Ms. Park, Keenan Anderson was killed in your district. You haven't said a word. You haven't said a word. It's shameful that you all want to move business as usual when people are literally dying. We're not here because we want to be here because we don't have shit else to do. My basement is flooded. I would rather be dealing with that. But we got to be here because we're standing up for our people and you are not. We also want to remember that Kevin DeLeon is a racist. Kevin De Leon is an anti-black, I have three minutes, anti-indigenous racist. And it's more than Sir. what he said. It's more than a handbag comment. Sir. It's a comment about black organizers saying that we're no more than 25 black people yelling. Sir. Well, we know that organizers are what got you elected. You know that. You took Speaker. my class, Kevin De Leon. Speaker. Right? You, it's also Speaker. about. Speaker, do you, do you want to speak to the items? So, so, thank so I, I'm happy to give you the additional minutes, but you'll need to speak to agenda items for those three minutes. People need to be housed. That's an agenda item. People need to be housed. You need to be doing what Angelinos need. Kevin De Leon is not doing what Angelinos need. He is stoking division. He's. I don't know if you heard what was just said, but he said, "I'll meet you in the streets." We are the fucking streets. We are the fucking streets. But we don't want to meet our folks in the streets. We want to join in solidarity, solidarity that comes with doing the work that Angelinos need. Stop trying to stoke division so that you can pursue your political ambitions, Kevin. It's shameful, it's evil, and we will follow you until you are gone. There will be no peace for you until you are gone. We're going to stand up. We're going to fight for our people. We're grateful that we have real leaders on city council now who fight alongside us. We're going to fight until we win. These 25 black people yelling are going to be yelling at you wherever you go, Kevin. And you know so, we don't give up. So, we know speaker, you don't give up. So, we know we won't give up. So, Will we speaker, give up? Right. Thank you. 
Are we okay. giving up? Speaker, at this you, point, you'll we need really to speak need to, to the agenda item. Okay, thank you, Doctor. I was basically treated like a criminal coming through to come to a city council meeting in order to, number one, listen to what is going on in the city, but also to exercise my voice. It is a shame that we have political leaders that are in this city that are allowed to have behavior that take away the lives of black folks, indigenous folks, and folks that want to come and live within a city that is not divided. It is very evident that the rules and the policies that are going on in this city are causing division and we ain't doing a damn thing about to change any of it. Because if we were, Kevin DeLeon would have already sat down and resigned. That's a demand that this city has had, not just from just a few folks, a, a, a united voice within this city. I'd like to see this city council meeting be observed where people that work in this city can come out and participate. But most of us Even work, the general. and we are not allowed to come because we work. If this was a united voice within this city, we would have meetings later in the evening where more folks could come out that are actually impacted by some of the decisions that are made in this city council. And I'm going to close out by saying that. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. I am speaking at the podium now. But you will not silence me as long as we have bigots and racists and anti-black on your city council. You will not silence me. While I stand here now and I take my minute, I will continue to show up. I will continue to speak out, not for myself, but for the people in this city that have been appalled by the behavior, the conduct, and the position of Kevin DeLeon. And so I'm at this podium now, but I will not be silenced along with the other people who are here. We will not be silenced. The era of polite politics has ended. The era of accepting races on this council has ended. The era of us being silent has ended. And so I say that to you, and I say that to you as I grieve for the three people who have been killed at the start of this year. Thank you. No more Thank you. more. Thank Kevin DeLeon's got Thank to go. Thank you. Thank you. You are not leftists. You are establishment. And, um, oh yeah, on the subject of Kevin DeLeon, you're a racist piece of shit. You should have resigned months ago, and the people speaking up in support of him ought to be ashamed of themselves. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.